Italian middleman Guido Hashke's role in the Navy deal has put a fresh twist into Armsgate. The government is now likely to offer a JPC when the debate comes up in Parliament today. Well, according to information that we are getting from our sources in the government, the government could be offering uh, a, a JPC into the entire arms gate allegations that have been made uh, by uh, the opposition parties uh, right after Chopper Gate. Uh, our Times now had uh, uh, led uh, in, in showing the way that this is not just about Chopper Gate, the 12 VVIP choppers, but uh, really about uh, arms gate, where several arms deals uh, have uh, dubious. Uh, uh, presence of uh, uh, middlemen uh, in this entire deal. What we are given to understand is uh, when uh, there is a debate in the Rajya Sabha today, the government could offer a joint parliamentary uh, uh, commission on this entire uh, issue. What we are also being told is after Hashke's uh, latest expose by Times now that he was also involved uh, in, in some uh, deals for the Navy, uh, this uh, this uh, could really lead uh, uh, to a JPC being offered by the government. Uh, we are joined by our editor-in-chief, Ornab Goswami, at this point. Uh, Ornab, what is the information that you are getting from the government regarding the setting up of a JPC? Well, you know, the government is going to uh, reiterate its offer for a JPC on the floor of the House today. I think the likely sequence of events, which I have been told by top government sources, is the following that A.K. Anthony will make a short statement on whatever the government has done so far into Armsgate. But the fact that Times Now's series of exposés have brought out new facts has left the government a little flummoxed. So what is likely to happen is that after Anthony makes his comments, uh, it is most, most likely, what I have been told, is that the government in a super aggressive strategy through the parliamentary affairs minister, Mr. Kamal Nath, may even press for actual voting on the question of a JPC. The idea of the government, they tell us, is to, uh, is to put the ball in the opposition's court. Well, according to information that we are getting is uh, that uh, the government could offer uh, uh, a JPC to investigate into the entire arms gate deals. Uh, what we are also given to understand is that the government will call the bluff of uh, the BJP in this entire issue. The BJP, of course, uh, all set to target the government over uh, the exposes. Uh, uh, that Times Now has done and also uh, other issues uh, relating to arms gate. Uh, what we are given to understand is uh, uh, that the government uh, could even uh, uh, offer a vote on the issue of setting up uh, of a JPC. That, uh, that entire issue will be taken up uh, in Parliament today when the issue comes up for discussion. Arnav Goswami joins us back on the phone line. Yes, Arnav, you were telling us uh, that there could be voting on the issue of the JPC. Yes, What's precisely. the government strategy? Precisely. That is what the government has planned. Uh, that if required, it will, uh, it will create a situation in the House where uh, uh, all political parties will be expressed to pu uh, put out their position on a JPC. The idea is very simple, that the BJP today in Parliament, their sources told us, are going to focus entirely on why the government is not going after the money trail. And the government, uh, in order to deflect from that and to put the focus, shift the goalpost, is going to talk repeatedly about a JPC. In fact, uh, till late last night, uh, Congress political managers were in touch with the BSP and the SP. And I'm told that they have also been given a clear assurance by the Samajwadi Party and the BSP that they will also take a very aggressive position on the formation of a JPC. So the entire strategy of the Congress Party and the UPA uh, is, uh, is to shift the goalpost and push it to uh, the announcement of a JPC and ask the BJP why they do not want to actually institutionalize a JPC into this issue. One of the arguments which will be put forth by the Samajwadi Party today uh, and the Congress Party uh, is that uh, there is uh, as much credibility to a JPC looking into a CBI inquiry as there is into a Supreme Court or a court monitored investigation into the CBI. And uh, we have also been told that the Congress Party till very late last night was in touch with the BJP, trying to get a consensus on it. But the BJP has flatly told the 
government that it is not going to agree to a JPC uh, into uh, arms gate being any kind of a solution. The BJP is asking for a for a sh for a short duration CBI investigation. Now, yesterday CBI uh, uh, sources told us that even a preliminary investigation will take at least six months. So it will be a very interesting political debate today. But I can call, you know confidently tell you the government's entire hundred percent strategy will be to shift the goalpost and somehow make the entire debate which happens in Parliament today not about the money trail, but to politicize it right at the start and talk about a JPC. It will be very interesting to see what the BJP says in response. The Congress political managers told me that if the BJP has nothing to hide on the matter, and these were the exact words, that if the BJP has nothing to hide, why does it not agree on a joint parliamentary committee uh, on a JPC?